Okay, Alan, uh, it took a little while to get this figured out, but I got it figured out. And uh, I've got the machine running now. And what I'm going to do is have it type a little news here. Now I've got my iPhone here, and I'm taking audio, streaming audio off the internet in the proper baud rate. There we go. And you can see it's typing out the news. And I'm using a uh, PAL SP6000 uh, unit, and I'm using the loop supply on the 6000 to run the, the teleprinter. And I found a great big roll of paper that I had. I knew I had some around here. But you can buy this paper pretty easily. So anyway, what we've got here is I had to use your keyboard and base. And I had to change the gear on the keyboard and I had to use my printer unit, the 19 printer unit, actually it's a 20, uh, model 20 printer unit, Teletype. And uh, I had to change the gear to get things to coincide here. The printer that uh, you know you brought over here originally uh, doesn't seem to work. I'm going to fool around with it here and see if I can get it to work. It, uh, I couldn't get the selector magnets to uh, operate properly, but maybe I now have the, you know, the uh, magic formula. So we'll see. But this is exactly what I wanted here. It's something that I could, I could set up and just run the old teletype machine. It, it really is a, a lot of fun to hear the old clack clack in the background. <laughs> so. Okay, again, I'm using an SC6000 here to drive it. And I'm streaming uh, teletype off of the internet. There's a site called rtty.com. You can take a look at it. And it's got some interesting information on it. But uh, they do stream the news. Okay, that's it.